Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. Today we are doing a Star Wars themed battle of Geonosis. This is going to be in two stages. The battle fought in the Colosseum will be fought between the Jedi and droids, and then we're going to have a massive battle between the clone army and the main droid armies That's in a separate part of the video. So what we have here, we have 50 Jedi saving Padme, Obi-Wan and, and you know Anakin and they're going to go up against 1200. We have the audience here in the chamber so if you happen to see Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator back on the channel of course let me know in the comments below. Leave future scenarios in the comments below and of course leave a like. That's always very much appreciated and helps out the channel immensely. Uh, also many thanks to the people that have supported me on Patreon so far. It really does mean a lot. If you do want to check out the Patreon you'll be able to find it in the link below. Uh, just a dollar would go a huge way to help support the channel in the future. After that shameless plug, let's get on with the battle. I imagine the Jedis might win, but let's take a little look. So here we have the droid forces trying to get as many Jedi as possible. However, it looks like <laughs> this might go the way of the... Oh my gosh, they're just tearing them to shreds. This might go the way of <laughs> the film. Only one Jedi has fallen. Oh, the Jedi are starting to fall, but... You can see that they're absolutely pulverizing the droids, which is kind of what you'd expect. Although some of the Jedi are going down. Doesn't look like it'll be enough though. Only 34 remain, so it does get a bit more balanced as the scenario goes on. Mm, yeah, they've lost almost half their force, and a lot of their HP is down as well. But there we go. Tornado troopers they are, but... Oh my gosh, yeah, those remaining troopers are gone. <laughs> okay, so there we have it. The Jedi have won this section of the battle, and now they're going to get picked up, and I'll see you on the main stage, even though this was kind of the stage, but you, you, you know what I mean. Okay, so here we have the main event, the main battle of Geonosis. We have the clone armies consisting of some heavy troops, heavy mechs, and uh, then we have the actual clone troopers, ready to attack. We also, they are going to be supported by 50 laser knights, I believe, or at least around 50 laser knights. Then we have some more mechs and some more clones, and then we have the droids. They're bigger droids, and then there are other droids. <laughs> yeah, I'll just probably say their name because I kind of get confused between the, I, I get the names mixed up. Uh, so we have the kind of the super battle droids, and then I forget the names of kind of their bigger ATSTs, as they would be in the, kind of the Imperial times, but during the Clone Wars they would have been called something else. But it's about 40,000, so it's going to be quite a big battle, and they're already firing at each other. Oh my giddy aunt. Oh my god. The fire. The fire. Have I done this wrong? Oh god, what the heck's going on? What are they firing at? Oh, this is mad. I believe I've set up the teams wrong, haven't I? Yes. Yes, I have. I have definitely set up the teams wrong. Two six. Okay, I'm going to have to freely admit that I am extremely incompetent at setting up scenarios. But here we go. The actual scenario is now in full effect. The massive 40,000 Battle of Geonosis. As we can see, it doesn't look like the Jedi are going to get... They might just get shot where they are actually... Oh my god, you can see the salvo. Oh, between the clones and the droids. This is actually pretty cool. I was kind of thinking, what could I, what kind of battle could I do with the new units? But I think this fits in quite well. Uh, so let's actually get this back out of cinematic mode. Then change it down to 0.1 and kind of turn it down. So we can kind of see... Who is winning at the moment? It looks like the Laser Knights are by far coming out on top. It looks like they have the high ground here. So not the Laser Knights, it's the clones. See, I'm reading it in the top left, so I kind of just forget. Uh, it doesn't look like have. It doesn't look like any of the Jedi have managed to get through the lines. Oh no, they're kind of hunkering down. Ah, uh, that's that's good. They're staying safe in their command posts. So <laughs> it looks like the droids are getting absolutely destroyed. Which I wasn't really expecting. I thought they put up a bit of a better effort than what's actually happening. 
because they did actually outnumber the clones and their, their stats are exactly the same. So I'm not really sure why they're getting so obliterated. It might be because... Oh my god, what the heck? That is crazy. The amount of shots that they're missing. <laughs> it is the droids though, so I guess I should kind of get a bit of incompetence. And of course the frame rate is absolutely atrocious, what with all the lasers on screen, so I do apologise for how this looks. Not a lot that can be done. Looks like the droids might get absolutely annihilated in this battle. I did make custom mechs, but I think this is the actual base mech. And the amount of firepower we are seeing here is absolutely redonkulous. Looks like this might go the way of the clones. As in the film. If they could, like, punch through their centre there. But yeah, they're... Oh my god, what is going on here exactly? Oh, I think I understand. So... The clones have got their heavies going in on this flank. And they're not really able to put too much firepower down. Hmm. Yeah, okay, the droids... Are going to struggle a bit. They might do okay over here. But it looks like their firing arc... It's just more suited to missing. And it's difficult to kind of get them on an even footing. Um, but I guess it makes sense. They have the high ground. But they're still continuing... Well, the, the droids don't have the high ground, but they're still continuing to fight. I wonder if the frame rate's going to get any better. No, we're kind of stuck about seven or eight frames a second. <laughs> so I believe the mechs have a HP of about 10,000. Yeah. But the droids, the super battle droids, are getting absolutely annihilated. So if we zoom out once again so we can kind of just see the devastation... We can see that pretty much their entire right flank has been annihilated. Their centre is holding, but that's only because of the mechs. But once they bring their full power to bear, they're not going to stand too much of a chance. Yeah, they've only killed 4,000 clones. So their aim must be pretty terrible. And yet they're still firing off into, <laughs> into outer space. Trying to shoot down some of the cl clone transports, I'm sure. Some of the transports are trying to come in. I'm surprised. Ah, it's a shame that fires don't get started over here. That would be pretty cool. Oh, the clones are actually moving in. Where are the Jedi? Oh, wow. Okay, this flank actually... Their heavies went down. Oh! Oh, I think the Jedi might be actually in there. It's difficult to tell with all the lasers. No. Oh, there they are. There's one. Oh. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, God. Oh, just a line of Jedi. <laughs> oh, dear. That's pretty brutal. Well. That's what you get. For charging a line that figure blazes. Because even the, the amount of power that's going in there, it's just crazy. They really are intensifying the forward firepower. So over here, they mentioned to fire down. They've only got 1,800 remaining. Well, they are. Now the clones are starting to lose quite a lot more. So, we'll see, we'll see. I don't think it'll be enough though. Just the sheer, they have lost a lot of their heavies though, so that will go against them. 
because they are pretty much they pretty much just have heavies. So what we'll do, we'll, we'll experiment with one of the clone troopers. Clonies! Okay, we've got 40 out of 100 left. If I take one more hit with this guy, we're dead. So if we keep on moving forward... Oh, we dealt 45 damage. Yes. Okay. We keep on charging. I can actually get to their line before they spot me. Huh. Oh no, it's turning. It's turning. Oh no, it's not, still not spotted me. Yes. It's down. Well, I actually made the guy make it. Wouldn't have funked it. Would not have funked it then. Okay. So the clone troopers are moving in on their right flank. Slowly butchering the heavies that remain. And once the centre falls, there's just a small holdout of... Super battle droids. Still managing to fire. Yeah, we can see that the firepower is slowly, slowly reducing. Now they're down to about 600. But that was absolutely insane to start off with. So most of them can't even fire. The accuracy of parties all around here are just absolutely terrible. Absolutely atrocious. They should all be really quite ashamed of their accuracy. Oh, they are still able to fire from up here. Let's command a little mech. Bam. Here we go. You may fire when ready. There we go. Causing quite a lot of damage. On this flank? Eh. The clones are actually had. They've taken heavy casualties. I can't even get my words out half the time. It looks like the mechs are actually still putting up a bit of a fight. Over here, there are still mechs. But they're. Oh my gosh. So. One thing that Pathfinding could be better, with the range units at least. Yeah, because they're kind of stuck. Oh no, here we go. Yeah, now they can pretty much kill a Tornado Trooper. I should say, Super Duper Clone Warrior. Super Battle Droids. Gosh, I'm pretty terrible getting my words out. Oh my god, is that a Jedi still alive? No, no, sorry. They... Yeah, at least it looks peaceful. Oh wait, just kidding. That looks horrifying. Just the eye, just the... So here we go. 185 droids remain. It's pretty clear that they're not going to win. So I'll have to resort to aerial bombardments, perhaps? Although that probably might irk some of you. Actually, just do a suicide run. So let's see how far we can get up the hill as a super battle droid with half our health. Here we go. We are moving. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I killed someone! Uh, I'm dead. Well. 107 remain against 4,000. So the, the clones actually... Sorry, the, dro the droids actually managed to make a bit of a comeback. They might make them down. I'm actually tempted to see how many clones they'll continue to kill. Because, I mean, there's only... There's 83 left. And I believe that most of the 83 are the heavy troops. Sorry, 70. Ah. Uh, I was going to say, it looked like they might be able to make a bit of a comeback, but... Yeah. No. No, I don't think they'll be able to. 3,600 rifles, or lasers, 
all bearing down onto 40 remaining Mega Max. It's not going to bode very well for them at all. But. Okay, boys. Move out. Let's leave a little flank. Poo poo. How many have actually come with us? Oh, a few. Although they'll probably all be dead by the time we get there. That would be quite lame. <laughs> Hello, Leo. Alright, where are the bastards? There we go. So we brought some into the flank. They've only got three remaining. And that is the that is the Battle of Geonosis done. God, my commentary is all over the place today. That's what I get for going on road trips for a weekend. There we have it. The two little battles of Geonosis. Both times the clone war warriors, the clone armies, and the Jedi have become victorious. Except all the Jedi kind of perished before they could even get into the battle, really. But hey-ho, there we have it. So if you enjoyed the video, of course, make sure to leave a like. Apologies for the slightly off commentary, but... Yep, I need dinner. <laughs> so until next time, everyone, I bid you a very, very good day. Nuke. Oh, wait, no, I can't. The battle's over. Oh. Can I? No. Well, that's awkward. <laughs>